All right, it's not quite three in the morning. I'm on my way to Benny's place. He's my brother, and uh, he's got the crazy idea that he's gonna go pick up a 1950 Hudson Hornet in California. So we're gonna drive straight through. It's gonna be an epic adventure. We're taking a 19, I think it's a, honestly, I don't even know what year it is, but it's a square body ramp truck. My brother's daily drives a square body ramp truck right now and uh, we're gonna take it all the way to california and make it back with another car so stay tuned don't forget to like click subscribe hit notifications i'm just gonna go to sleep he's gonna drive most of the way i'll see you when the sun comes up Then he's on his eighth coffee. This is my first. And uh, the sun just came up. And uh, what's what's your what's your uh, what's your take on the sun there, Ben? So any driving you get done before the sun comes up is a gimme. There's uh, it cancels itself out. We're just starting our road trip right now. Doesn't really make any sense to me either. But uh, he basically said that he just started driving just right now, and I've been sleeping the whole time. So uh, it's good. It's good. What's up, fool? What's up? Back on the road. We're gonna be a little late because Carl had to make a few stops. <laughs> Just outside of, are we in Salem? Yeah. All right, we're in Salem, Oregon. And uh, just stopped at a Best Buy, pick up a GoPro camera, which I've never used before. So I'm excited to try that out. And uh, I made bento. This is like a Japanese thing. It's um, ochazuke, means uh, green tea and rice, basically. And a little bit of salmon. So we just got some hot water from the 7-Eleven and
could tell we're in the mountains, the idol came up. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> missed a spot. I did? You, you, you missed a spot over here. You see that? You see the spot right there? Right there? Yeah, right. Just the one middle spot? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> if we had a coffee place, it'd be called Jap Bros. That's right. <laughs> Well, she's been a drive, Benny. Yeah, it's been a go, hey? How uh, how much longer have we got, do you think? Uh, I wanna say six and a half. Six and a half hours still? Yeah. No way. I think so. Oh, brutal. We just got some salads, road trip food. Doesn't make you drowsy. Still ways to go, sun's going down. Next stop is Fresno? Well, yeah, aside from gas. Aside from gas, we're going straight to Fresno. That's right. There we go. Look at this fancy thing. Benny put a new winch on there. Dude, we, uh, we're in Fresno, we're about to go get some coffee, go check out this Hudson, then he's just warming up the truck, and uh, yeah, we definitely need some coffee, man, we got in late, it's like 2 a.m., we were hoping to get in at like 8, but uh, I don't know what happened, <laughs> and we stopped about 18 times, so let's go get some coffee. Okay, everybody's dying to know, man. What are we picking up? So, it's a Hudson Motor Car parts lot. It's a mostly complete 1951 Hudson Commodore, two door coupe. Right. That's the important part, is that it's a two door, two door like, coupe. How many, yeah. were, you're saying that, what was it, like 800 are made or something like that? Yeah, across Super 6 and Commodore and Hudson Hornet. Across the three, 1,100 total units in 51. That's crazy, for man. Yeah. I thought my Zephyr was rare. Like, well, mine's not even that rare because it's a four-door. But <clears> a <throat> coupe Zephyr is considered to be extremely rare. And there's 2,500 of those. So they only yeah. made 1,100 in 1951, one right. year only. Right. And they made 90,000 four-doors. They made 90,000 total units, so yeah, it's okay, got to be up that, around yeah. around that because they only made 1,000 coupes. Yeah, so. that's just insane. Yeah. That's insane. And a uh, quick backstory on the before for this. Yeah. Was it last year that we did that road trip to, was it Castlegar? It was, uh, was it? I think it was two or three years ago. Man. I think it was twice. 2020. It was the first year of, uh, yeah, of all the sh Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so we went to Castlegar and picked up a Hudson. I thought Benny was kind of crazy for picking it up. Yeah. But um, but I understand why, because it was part one to a two part um, build basically. Cause right. It, it has the twin H NASCAR yeah. engine, which is a dual carb 
308 cubic inch right. six cylinder. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Flathead, high pressure oil pump, 308 cubic inch, straight six. And yeah, this one has, it's a 1953. In 1953, you could buy a 308 engine in your Hudson Hornet and it could come with the 7N package, which was the twin H NASCAR dual carb. And NASCAR setup. is what made that popular after right. 1951 when they were annihilating. Right, so Hudson developed the 7N package for the 1951 NASCAR circuit. So they took the lightest, the lightest one, and you could go to the counter in 1951 at, you know, you were all excited about all this, you know, the step down floor pads in these Hudsons and they're handling so well out on the track and all of a sudden there's this huge engine with a dual carb setup and they just started winning. Wow. And everybody went to the Hudson dealers and even with their older cars, you could walk up to the parts counter and say, I want the NASCAR carb kit. So you'd get a manifold and two carbs and it was called the 7N kit. Gotcha. Yeah. And so, so that's what's on the four door that we picked up a couple of years ago. Right. So the 7N kit. Yeah, it's it's a rebuilt 308 engine with the 7N package uh, in a car. Both air cleaners are there, and you and I fired it. We know it's good. Right. Yeah. That's it's unreal. So now <coughs> that purchase from a couple years ago, right, mixed with this purchase, which right. is not just one car. It's like a couple cars worth of stuff, right? Yeah. There's three different cars worth of stuff, but there's almost enough there to complete one unit. Right. Yeah. And and so mixed with your car. There's more than enough to complete one unit. That's which right. Is what you're gonna keep? Yes. And you know, I'm just gonna tell everybody for a second. Mm -hmm. Like Benny and I are the same. Like we have fun, basically um, thinking about the opportunities to try and make some of our money back, and like buy and sell, like buying and selling, and going on road trips. Like it does. Like some people be like, it's crazy that you're driving 2,800 miles. To go pick up a car it's like three grand you're spending like almost the same in gas and expenses and it's true but the potential is there because there's all these extra parts you have another car yeah we know people looking for huts and stuff as well so at the end of the day you know maybe we spent i don't know eight grand or nine grand total on on your two projects yeah I this think... whole thing plus expenses yep. plus driving like right. two years ago plus expenses like we like to consider all that stuff because that's how we grew up. Like you, like if you want something that you can't afford, you yep. got to find a way to do it. That's and right. for for us, it's buying and selling stuff and, yeah. and uh, talking to people and and networking. And so, you know, there's potential with this other car because Ben already has the engine he wants. The car that we're picking up right now has a like fully rebuilt with receipts. 308 engine correct correct yeah so that's worth a bunch that and he's not going to use it no nope. and he's got another car yeah so now there's going to be an extra almost entire hudson with a brand new rebuilt engine that can be for sale and that's going to yeah. fund this project and make it affordable because you know we don't want to have just one car <laughs> yeah. you got to have multiple cars yeah so you've got to try not to spend too much money on them right like you buy them when they're a deal and see if you can make some bucks and like the car hobby mm -hmm. can fund itself that's right like ben has always done very well with with that and i've always kind of looked up to him for it because you know he's always been able to pay and play but the hobby itself is what funded it and i watched it ben you know mm -hmm. like bought a house and, and did all that stuff and uh and didn't have extra car money so he separated that and I think that's something that can be learned from because yeah. it's really cool to see that like you know there's just if, as long as you choose to not let it stop you like, yeah nothing nothing can stop you yeah you can 100% with very little space you know like I don't even if you live in an apartment um, if they rent, yeah if they rent out one parking space you have you have the what you need um, to make a good side hustle you know you buy one car and don't make it a car you like. Don't make it a car that, you know, is personalized at all. Pick something, like look for the good deal on anything popular. And you bring that home, do a little bit of work to it, yeah. and away you go. Yeah. You know, like you make 500 bucks. Sorry, I'm yeah. distracted.
<laughs> and yeah. you know, you do that three times in your first year, which is a lot. Don't yeah. expect to do it maybe three times on the first yeah. year, but boom, now you, the way. Yeah, you got fifteen hundred bucks, and now, now you're going for something bigger and better each time. It's like that guy that traded a paperclip and eventually got a house, right? Yeah. Like you know, is uh, that's right. You just can't can't let it stop you. No. You know? But back to the Hudson. Yep. So at the end of the day, with both projects you will be able to assemble a rust free yeah. twin h right full trim like hornet 1951 hornet two door yeah hornet coupe hornet coupe yeah unreal unreal yeah so how far away is the place it's like 20 minutes yeah, yeah. should we get uh should we get cruising sounds good all right let's go check this car out Yeah, I did. Okay, we just got to meet our boy Carter. Young dude, man, and he's got some pretty cool cars. Yeah. We are heading now to uh, his other shop or other property where the like the car is actually stored there's a bunch of parts here um, that motor I didn't realize Ben probably knew but um, it's also twin H carb kit like the 7n kit yeah so um, that's 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 definitely gonna be a pretty penny in the um, in the recouping cash situation because if anybody wants that engine fully rebuilt it's already got carbs and everything to be the 7N kit, which is rare. But furthermore, every time I go anywhere and people have junk around, I ask them if they have mini bikes. And yeah. uh, if you're into mini bikes, you probably know that like the ATC 70, the trike is pretty rare and I've always wanted one. So he's like, oh yeah, I got, I got like, I got some in the garage, it's a trike. And I was like, oh yeah. And thinking, what are the chances of it being an ATC 70? It's an ATC 70, and he's thinking he might sell it, so he's gonna talk to his dad, see if he'll uh, sell me the little trike. While we were in there, noticed a visor, two visors, one of them being a Fulton, the other one was a Hudson dealer accessory visor. Hudson dealer accessory visor. I guess yeah. they cherry picked it off the project, but. Uh, now that there's the Fulton visor there, he says his dad might let go of the Hudson one. I think that uh, whatever it takes to pry the Hudson one out of him is going to be worth it because, I mean... I need a visor. You got to have a visor, and it's for a Hudson only. Like, that's a <coughs> Hudson visor, not a... Fultons are sweet, but they're an accessory visor for everybody. That Hudson visor is a Hudson visor. That's right. So um, hopefully we can make that happen. Well, we got about a 40 minute drive to go load up the car and uh, I think a, another engine? Is there another engine there too? Yeah, uh, so he's got a 262 over there, but he, he has the Hudson Hydromatic transmission with the overdrive unit. So my transmission doesn't have overdrive. 
there we go. Yeah. It's just working out for us, you know? Yeah, fingers crossed on a couple extra little bonus deals, but that's right. Well, you're gonna hit the road, drive to this other spot, start loading up. got the triangle. It's got the triangle. Right so at heart. home, I've also got more parts. Um, like right now you have a Commodore 6 um, glove box cover. Yeah. I have the Hornet one at home. Awesome. Another Hornet trim. And then I have the one for this. Yeah. Of the Super 6, which matches the frame. Awesome. Yeah. The floors are still pretty minty. Everything like is minty. Said. The only thing that's different is this, which but this whole thing unbolts and comes out. Yeah. That's perfect. But the floors are pristine in this thing, dude. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I forgot that we put that steering wheel in from the Super 6, so it actually does steer. Oh, nice. Right on. So yeah, this is this is she. It's got all the stuff I need on it. The plan was when I actually still uh, was building it was to put a Daniel 44 in it. Yeah. With the Turbo 400 and the 308, but never got to it. We started a little bit of body work on the other side. Yeah. But never got to it. Oh, are these the rockers? I think here? so. Yeah, but they're no good. What about, um, so do you have the ones that go on there, like to cover the wheel well and go under the door, or is that them? That's, I think that's them, but not from this car. That's from a different car. Okay. A uh, different Hornet, I mean, different Hudson. You know what? I, f I wonder if the four-door ones are the same or can be shortened because I have those. They might work. I mean, I know that the compensates for the longer doors. Right. It's a two-door. Right. This is it. This is the coupe. This is the back window. Everything that I want. Is yeah, that visor off this car? No. The visor is off a pacemaker, actually, which is the lowest model uh, Hudson. Right. It's got the coupe seat. It's all here, man. It's all the stuff I need. Set that there and we can open the trunk too. Yeah. There we go. There's all the ports, parts. Oh, there they are. Yeah, I got everything in here. Stereo too. Sweet. That's all the glass, all these pieces. That's a Hornet special. Man. Yeah. That's the glove box trim, right? Uh. No, that one's actually this one is yeah, this one's four, but I have another one. Awesome. Which is the same as that one, but it's this horn in red instead of Commodore in gold. That's awesome. Beautiful.
How you feeling, Benny? Good. You stoked?
way back. We're almost back from grabbing the car. We're gonna come grab all these parts. Yeah. And uh, what happened with that visor? So he just gave us the Hudson uh, dealer visor, which is pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. These guys are some of the nicest people to deal with. He's just happy to drive all over the place with us. He's super helpful. He insisted on crawling under the car to hook up the cable. It's like... And Mac! And Mac, Dude, we met... Mac, we just Take the didn't next expect that. No. Came out with his forklift, helped us load everything up. Yeah. Put the engine in the car, showed us his whole car collection. Yeah. Like, what a... What an awesome dude. Yeah, we're uh, we're meeting some really feet, cool people down here. Destination. Yeah, yeah, pretty awesome. So now we're gonna make some frames to hold the engine, the other engine, and uh, make sure everything's loaded up. Yeah, nice, nicely. And then uh, I think we're gonna try and just drive as far as we can drive, right? Yeah, let's just go till we're tired tonight. Yeah, it's pretty hot during the day. I know this is not hot for California, but. You know, you're fine, but I'm, I'm just good. I'm just like let's let's do some night driving. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're Yeah, for a welder you for a welder and fabricator, sometimes you get melty. I'm I'm pampered, man. The shop doesn't get hot. Even in the hottest day the your, concrete keeps it cold. Your all. shop is so nice in the <laughs> summer. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, and uh Unfortunately, no mini bike, but that's totally fine. I get it. I thought it was like one of those things that could have been meant to be, but it obviously wasn't. So I'm meant to get a different ATC 70 somewhere else. Yeah, so everybody keep an eye out. Yeah, look out <laughs> for an ATC 70 for me. Earlier the better. spot in the trailer okay and then we'll shoehorn everything around it how about we just put the engine on top of the car and zip tie and zip tie and ratchet strap it there we go we could do it yeah <laughs> i did bring a lot of green zap straps <laughs> all right well, basically we had, let's unload this whole trailer right until there's nothing in it basically yeah much. and then start with the heavy sink first yeah right we'll do that right in the center look it's just a little one that's amazing. Yeah, that's you got an H power emblem from a 52. I bought this one separate. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to put it on it just because, you know, I thought it was cool. Why so. not? Yeah. Let's I mean, fender scripts. I was, some guy messaged me on Facebook about it. He was like, that doesn't belong in that car. I'm like, I don't get it. And then I've also got these. Sweet. Which are pretty freaking nutty. And they're not. Oh, they must be good if they're oh, wrapped in bubbles. The one H145 door yes. panel. Uh, buttons. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wow. Nice. Sweet. Yeah, I was going to have all of that. That's so cool. It came with a sticker already on it. Yeah. Green, green gray. Oh. Look at all this stuff. So some of this stuff is yours. Yeah, stuff? this is Trans Am. This is Trans Am. I guess that's Hudson. Yeah, that's Hudson. Yeah. Like a Trans Am. Yeah. Actually. Oh no! Oh, you're right. That's it's not. Hudson. That is Hudson. I think all the rest is. Do we want to roll this out? Try all three of us hold it balance and roll it out there. Sure. Okay.
You know, I would if it wasn't something that I do once in a lifetime. Like, oh, this is, yeah. like... That truck doesn't work. The truck's never been out doing anything. So why bring it here? What the heck? Well, because this one is for. Oh, yeah. Okay. The one time that you go here. Oh, gotcha. You gotcha. know what I mean? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like, man, I got my 2011 with the trailer. We could fuck the 18-foot trailer. We'd come down. He's like, no. No. I'm going to put that's this what, on That's there. what I was intending was seeing an 18-foot trailer come. And then he says, 8-foot trailer. I'm like, oh. Uh, yeah. how's that gonna work? You're like, are you sure you have enough room? Yeah, I was thinking <laughs> that when you said it, and then you sent a picture of it, I'm like, oh, gotcha. Yeah, this is way more fun. And and you can, you know, go the faster speed limit technically, right? That's you right. You can tow a trailer, you, you yeah. gotta do 55. Okay, yeah. So on the way well, down. Well, you're a trailer, so. I know, but on the way down. Well, on the way there. On the way here, it was on the deck, so that's like, right. you're cruising. Here. Oh, thank you. Beauty. <laughs> the date today October 2nd yeah uh 765 yep 5082 okay that's it all right then you sign and then I sign good I'll sign it no I don't worry thank you mm -hmm. thank you yes, sir that's awesome give you your pen back yeah do you wanna? Do you want me to take a picture and scan this and send it to you? Sure. Yeah, I'll frame it. There you go. <laughs> the day the Hudson left, all the way to Canada. Yeah, all the way to Canada. <laughs> it's official. It's, it's official. official. <laughs> there it is. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It's Photo proof. It's scanned with Listen, the man. with the rust mark stain and everything. You spent the whole day with us. Yeah. And you didn't have to do everything that you did to help us out today. That's I right. Really appreciate it. Me too. What do you mean, just helping you out? Yeah, yeah. Dude, like, I feel that's the right thing. Loading everything. That's the like, right thing lifting. to do. I know it is, and, and it's just cool, man, because not everybody does that. And, and, yeah. uh, and you, it was awesome to meet you, Carter. So I, I really you guys, too. It. I mean, like you said, I'll keep up with the journey of the Hudson. Awesome, like, yeah. man. Yeah, we should post a video and maybe next week or. Whenever. I'll that. keep notifications on. Yeah, like <laughs> Benny's been. And he's been wanting this car for a long time. Uh, we've been talking since what, April. Just That's stoked. right, yeah. April. April. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, this is a this is a dream car. This is one that someone's gonna have to pry from my cold dead hands. Yeah, it was a dream car for me yeah. when I just I can't. I have my other dream car over there, so I got yeah, to yeah. prioritize one. One one at a time, man. <laughs> yeah. get done. Two dream cars ain't a bad life, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. So what's our plan then? Are we just gonna boogie? Yeah, let's boogie. Let's boogie see how far we, we could get uh, tonight. We get hungry and need fuel, and and then boogie again till we get too sleepy, That's and right. then we'll just find a motel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah. Once again, much appreciated, dude. We yeah, worked dude. through the hottest part of the day with us. Yeah. yeah it wasn't <laughs> even that bad, honestly. Today was actually a pretty oh, nice day. It was nice. Here, this is hot for us. It was <laughs> nice. <laughs>
Cheers, Benny. Good morning. <laughs> Are we going to break like bust in this song right now? That's right. Good morning. Morning. That's all I know actually though. Yeah, me too. Uh, okay, so like last night, 2.30, we stopped in Reading, went to Motel 6, had a good night's sleep, and uh, we're heading home. So I guess another 12 hours or something is what Google says, but we always take longer. You know, we got to stop, have a pee, have a coffee, whatever. Yeah. So it'll be May 14 hours, which puts us at maybe midnight. Yeah. We'll probably yeah. be home around midnight. But that's not bad, like three days, turn and burn. Yeah. Including loading and all that kind of stuff. That's right. The truck is running really good. You know, on the way here, and, and intermittently, float bowls get stuck. Or float bowl, I should say. Singular. Yeah, Singular. the float. The float gets yeah. stuck. But, uh, yeah, because it's quad, it's not anything else. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's a quadrabog. Quad, quadrabog. Yeah. But, man, this thing does pretty good. Like, I, it's better than I expected for, you know, a, a 1979 one ton. It's hauling the load really well. Nothing sketchy about it. Yeah. Um, We're going up 6 or 7% right now, and I'm keeping 55 miles an hour, and I'm not flooring it. Yeah, so that's pretty awesome. good. Awesome. What a good truck, man. Yeah, that's a good one. Where, where did we pick this one up? It was the island, right? Yeah, you and I, I, I phoned the guy. I had just sold my slide back tow truck, the five ton. Right, uh, right, right, right. Yeah. Did you sell it or traded it for a Buick or something? No, I sold that one straight up because. No, you traded a Buick to get it. To get it, that's right. right. Okay, sorry. Continue. Yeah, so my 40 Buick, I got cash and the tow truck. Um, and then I drove that thing for a bit. I delivered um, a truck to King, like Barrett or Kamloops and brought one home. Good adventure with Stefano. Um, and then I was sitting on money, which is never good. And yeah, you have to buy something. I have to buy something. And then this thing popped up and I just told him I'll take it. And then you and I hopped on the ferry. That's right. Went to Nanaimo. The guy picked us up and we went and saw this truck and we were just like, yep, we're taking it and then booked it back to the ferry. And in Canada, like, well, I don't, I can't speak for the rest of Canada. In, in Vancouver, where we live, ramp trucks never come up. Whoa, no, never. Yeah. They never come up for sale. What, what lake is this? Is this like Lake Shasta or something? Or I don't, I, have, I think it's a reservoir. Is this a reservoir? It's really low. Yeah, that sign, same thing. Something maybe 
we should do a 4L80 swap yeah. with a transmission control module. Well, 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 what a trip it was. Yeah. So basically, I think the footage ended like right after we had dinner at the teriyaki spot. Yeah. And uh, we were only, what, like 20 minutes from the, from the, uh, from the border, something like that. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. That was it. We were just dead tired yeah. and like needed to go home. So. Yeah. But man, that was such a good trip. Like. I just can't believe how it all worked out. Yeah. Right? It was awesome. Yeah. Everything was uh, was really smooth. Truck did super well. We made really good time. We got almost the same gas mileage. Did you, did you say we made good time? For hauling a load and <laughs> screwing around. Oh, yeah. I guess so. <laughs> Day one, it's like, oh, yeah, we're going to be at our hotel by, by 7 p.m. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. What time did we show up? <laughs> like... Yeah. Two? <laughs> yeah. We basically, well, how many times did we like double back? Yeah. yeah. Should just use Gatorade bottles. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's all a part of it. Roscoe? Yeah. What do you got to say? Yes. Hmm? Hello, buddy. You're just looking for treats? He just wants a scratch. Yeah. yeah. For those of you who don't know, that's Kitsune and that's Roscoe. Hi, buddy. Hello, and, buddy. Uh, yes. Oh. Yeah. Hi, buddy. They're the best. <laughs> yeah. Another really cool thing that happened um, was that weird vacuum operated system on that other engine. Like the engine yeah. that we dropped into the car while loading at max. Matt yep. dropped it in with the forklift. That's right. Has all these giant 
vacuum operated pots all yeah. over it. And we were, you know, they didn't know what it was for. And, and uh, Ben had some idea because he know, knows about uh, the 1930s. What was it called? It was a, so in 1935, Hudson had something called the Magic Hand. And uh, off the side of the steering column where a three in the tree shifter would be was this little tiny shift lever with an H pattern kind of right at the diameter of the steering wheel. So the ad was that you could just be driving and then ba essentially throw a toggle switch and then the car would change gears for you. Right. And that was yeah. a similar system, vacuum operated mechanical yeah. system to actually depress the clutch change gears yes. and let go of the clutch all based off of vacuum yeah and when i'm looking at it with you i'm like I, this is a manual transmission that's a clutch not a torque converter um i i i thought that magic hand was like one year it was too problematic and hudson killed it right and i'm trying to figure out why there's something that can shift a manual transmission in a 1951 Hudson. Right. And I'm thinking like, oh, maybe, you know, some, some tinkery old mechanic. You Tried know, making just, something or adapted the yeah. early version or did something he, crazy. He just loved his magic hand so much that he had to recreate it on yeah. his new car or something. And then sure enough, you found out that um, it was called a drive master and that it came back in the forties for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, apparently like we, I can't find any pictures of one online. Yeah, I haven't been able to find pictures. I've heard mentions of it online. Yeah. I'm sure that we could do a deep dive and find some stuff. But yeah. um, super, super rare option. Extremely rare. And yeah. the engineering that went into this is is ridiculous. Like, there's three giant vacuum pots. There's, like, all these electric but internally kind of mechanical parts that, um, you know, tell it... Like, basically computers, but mechanical. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And I think they killed it at the end of 1951, because in 1952, they came out with the um, hydromatic Chevy transmission, which Hudson then used. Is right? That, is that how it was? Like, I, I thought I, that... I thought I was reading something. I'm sure that there's a Hudson guy watching somewhere that will be able to tell us more. Yeah, but, definitely but comment and some, tell us what's going yeah, on. Yeah, please, like, you know, fill us in. Um... But there's something that I read about that, like, they killed it in 52 because automatic transmissions were coming in. And I think that they, there's something about the plant that they were getting their transmissions from or, or whatever. Something happened there. And um, I'm pretty sure that they went to, like, GM hydromatic transmissions in the Packards. I know or, that, the, I know there was for sure a hydromatic, um, a maybe hydromatic not from in GM. a Hudson. Right, yeah, well, maybe not from GM, but from the plant that makes the GM one. Yeah, because I think I think Hydromatic was kind of like a separate factory at that point. Right. You know, like yeah. it was probably a GM company, but they were making transmissions for a mm. lot of things. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, super interesting though, like yeah. just to see that and like nobody knows what it was and to find out that it's that incredibly rare of an option. Yeah. Um, you know, that being said, if somebody out there knows somebody that needs those parts. Yeah. You know, I, I, I know you're not going to use them on your car. Nope. Um, so, like we have mentioned in the video, like, all the parts that come with your project that you're not going to use, you try and, you know, find the right homes for them. So, That's it. Um, yeah, pretty neat. Yeah. Pretty I... neat little little extra on there. And uh, big thanks to Carter again for yeah. just being an awesome dude and Mac for showing us around. Yeah. Um, and the visor that you know, didn't have to go with the deal, but Carter did do that. I just yeah. want to say, you know, thank you so much. Cause yeah, that, thank you for the visor. That's, that's uh, never, that's never leaving yeah. that car or nah. my garage. Like, yeah, yeah, pretty epic. Yeah. And, you know, on the, on the topic of thanking people, thank you guys for watching yeah. and subscribing and, you know, making this possible yeah. for us to be able to make content and, uh, and put it out to you guys and, and have it support, you know, us financially it's incredible so yeah. thank you very much yeah and if you haven't already please subscribe hit the bell if you want to be notified which i'm sure you do i mean everybody wants to who be doesn't notified. want to, <laughs> who doesn't want to know what's going on yeah um but yeah i mean i guess i guess that's it 
Yeah. This is a really fun one. And uh, the ramp truck did awesome. And, yeah. And yeah. 10.5 miles per gallon on the way down and 10.3 coming home, weighing 12,700 pounds on the scale. That's crazy. Yeah. It's all That's about crazy. speed. Yeah. You know? Like we're doing, we're doing 75 miles an hour on the way down, 3,200 RPM or something. Who knows? I guess that's what it was. That's why yeah. there's not that big of a difference being loaded on the way back for yeah. miles per gallon. I think it's so. because we were boogieing on the way down. When I, an old mechanic told me when I was a mechanic that engines like 2,000 to 2,500 RPM. Yeah. Any gas engine wants to be right there. It's going to be the most efficient you know mm. i'm sure it's different now you know yeah yeah that makes sense all right well thanks a lot everybody don't forget yeah. to like click subscribe hit notifications yeah. and uh we'll see you on the next video yeah thanks benny thanks dude that was yeah. good stuff what do yeah. you say thank you roscoe yes. thank you buddy yes. oh buddy <laughs>